Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can create site collection using Power Automate. So if you are a uh, SharePoint admin for your organization, then it's a right video to watch because we are going to automate the creation of site collections. So you need not to uh, manually go and create the sites uh, based on some requests. So as you can see, I have uh, one SharePoint list. And this SharePoint list I would be opening for, for my entire organization so that the people can go inside or uh, create this uh, uh, SharePoint item in this list. And so that based on the SharePoint item, I would be able to create the site collections. So right now I'll be creating this uh, manual item, but you can also have uh, some approval flow in place with this SharePoint list or you can have uh, one page as well in ms forms which actually would be shared with users or in your organization they would be filling out that form so, and that form would be creating item inside this sharepoint list so there are various ways of to capturing the uh, data or the information related to your new site so that part we are not going to cover today we are going to cover directly like whenever an item is created inside this list then one site collection has to be created based on the information provided in the item so that's what we are going to do. So I'll just uh, showcase like what columns I have in my this SharePoint list is title is the title of the site is site URL. I would be just uh, want to have a short URL so that I can pick that out to while creating the new SharePoint site and the site owner name and site description. You may also have like few other uh, options. For example, if you would like to have enable uh, the, the provisioning related to team site or communication site, then you can also give one choice drop down that what kind of site they want to create. So right now I'm just skipping that out. So let's uh, go to the Power Automate. So with Power Automate, I'll be creating one instant cloud flow and I'll just skip the trigger because I'm going to choose the trigger as when an item is created. So you can bind your list, which I just showed you. So it was under my prefix site and the name was site collection request. And in the next step, uh, we would be using the action as send an HTTP request so that we should able to execute the create site collection request. And with site it does because this might be like uh, sounding you confusing but you have to like pass on some site address though like it uh, doesn't worry about it because it will just uh, use this address to make this post call. So I'll just change that as post and now in this one we will be uh, using the API to create the site collection. So, so in the URI I will be just passing the API SP site manager create and in the headers I'll be passing accept and uh, I have written the actual content value for it so I'll just paste the enter value as accept slashation or data metadata equal to none in the body part we'll be passing the body so that uh, with all the attributes so that it can create the site with that API call so I have written the body, I have constructed the body over here and I will be pasting that in comments as well so that you can directly pick. So in the title, you have to pass on the title, in the URL you have to construct the URL and LCID is the uh, language culture which you need to pass and web template would be the uh, team site template which will be using it and in site designs you can pass on the ID of your site design. So if you have custom site design then you can pass on the custom site design ID over here. And in the owner, you can put out the owner name. So right now, all these is hard coded, but we are going to change this for the art item values. So I'll just uh, going to remove this hard coded title, and I'll include the title with that title value. And in the URI, in the URI uh, URL, we have to like have it uh, constructed with uh, appended to sites. I'm just removing that and just picking out that. Site URL feed 
and in LCID, LCID is fine, web template is fine, site design also you can hard code and with, with this owner who would be the owner of the site you need to extract that from your list. Alright, so we have constructed the body, we have passed on the, the URL which is API site manage create and now we can save it. Alright, so we can just give it a name. Create site collection flow. And now we are going just back to our list and creating one item. So let's say it's a, a demo auto site creation. So the site name would be demo auto site creation. In the URL, I'm passing the same value. In owner field, I'm just passing my email ID. Or you can just keep this field as people picker and in the flow, you'll be picking out the email ID of that person. So, I mean, it's based on you, how you want to pick it, how you want to work with this column. I'm just saving it and going back to our flow. Just to check out whether it ran or not. So it may take 30 seconds. We are just pausing over here. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. I'm just clicking on it. So it uh, ran successfully and created, executed our sign and HTTP request as well. So we'll just go to our admin center just to verify that our site got created or not. So our site name was demo auto site creation. Let's search that out. Okay, so site is there. I'm just opening that. Okay, so our site got provision and uh, we are good now. So this is how I just uh, explained you that how you can create automate the site creation request based on a SharePoint list. So there are there could be various number of ways as I said. So directly, instead of directly exposing this list to your entire organization, you can just uh, uh, share one form, MS form, where you can just fill out those details and that MS form would be binded to that list, this uh, list, and uh, filling out these all compulsory mandatory fields and which in turn creates the sites. So this process you can, uh, uh, I mean, put in place for your SharePoint administration and could be useful. So that's it for today's video. Thank you.